long weekend in New Zealand and um, yeah today we're going to my favorite place which is the dunes and what we want to do today is talk about coffee there's various ways to make coffee and I look at some of the other guys and they've got inverters and running espresso machines and all that but you you think that's that's over the top so I've brought along I think five different ways to make coffee so we've got a whole range of things which we'll try out and you can see what you think is the best and then of course let us know and maybe you have something else you use but I just need to let the tires down a little bit more it sounds very soft this morning So the first one we've got is the normal filter then this is a normal filter but it's for a single cup show you how that works then we've got a little Biglietti espresso machine then I've got something by a company called GSI which also does a single cup then we've got the big big Lietti pot then there's a small big Lietti pot and then this is the one we use the most probably called the AeroPress so we're going to see how they all work one comes with a little mug and the last one is the normal Bowdoin press so there's these two are the same so we'll do one so it's one two three four five six seven different ways to make coffee okay so the first one is the aero press this was uh, introduced to me about oh, quite a while ago um, probably eight years ago and I bought one at that stage I think they were about $35 so you put a filter paper in the bottom put that on This is similar to uh, the normal filter, you just put a piece of filter paper in. It's a filter paper in the bottom, so it looks like that, like that. one's ready this one 
boils its own water it takes quite a long time and it gets very hot so you need gloves otherwise you're gonna burn yourself I've never seen these before uh, they made in by a company called GSI in America this little pipe becomes a nuisance and you can break them so in this case you put water in there so the water is up to the safety valve this filter goes in that water is boiling already so we're going to have to do one at a time so let's start with the aero press put it on your cup on the side it shows you how many shots I like lots of coffee so I'm going to put it up to three three and a half you then take the plunger and you force it through That's with the aero press. The one with the filter paper, it's obviously a lot slower. So you just pour different ways to do it and pour and wait. Obviously, you don't let the water go over the filter paper otherwise the the coffee granules run into your cup so we'll let that one brew while that one's brewing we put the water in here we're now going to put the coffee in then screw the lid on it's obviously got a there's a rubber seal in here so it seals really tight I've had this machine for well I've probably had this machine for 12 years 14 years it still works well so we'll put that on there in the meantime Alright, so this one's done. I put water in three times to fill the cup. What's easy with this is just throw it away. So I will do that later. Just get a bag out. The next one is this little one I'll probably use the metal cup again so this is quite nice um, if they've got instant coffee at work and you just want a single cup for yourself so the same as this the idea of this little item with the holes, with the holes is that the water doesn't just run in it spreads next one is the little big Lieti pot these pots are made in Italy they, they're nice they're easy so same procedure as the other one put a bit of water in here it's more of an espresso sort of single use small cup um, if you're thinking of you can picture yourself sitting in Paris on the sidewalk having a pastry and coffee this would probably be what what you'd be drinking
So we'll do that one next. I've moved the pot to the end because the burner is quite big. And if you don't do that, the handle is going to get hot. And either you're going to melt the handle or you're going to burn yourself. So that one is starting to happen. Uh, the filters are different qualities if you get if you get a fine filter some of the cheaper ones you get what you pay for but being glass it is risky uh, different ways to do it you can put the coffee in water in and then there's different ways of thinking if you want it to go quickly you stir it supposedly not the right way to do it or you just leave it and slowly the coffee will sink as you see it happening here once it's all sunk to the bottom you can put the plunger in and push it down something I've learned is if you get impatient and the coffee hasn't settled and you push hard number one all the granules bypass the filter and end up in your coffee or if you push too hard I've had it pop out here and mess everywhere so I normally stir it to make it go a little bit quicker because if you push now the coffee is not particularly strong then of course how much coffee do you use well there's the old story about one for the pot and one for each person. The coffee we generally use is this Robert Harris. There's a whole variety of blends. They've also got a coffee shop in New Zealand. So we like this coffee. But this isn't bad if you can't get that. It's La Faire, Espresso and Stovetop. And the brand or the, the blend is Brava. This is also... A fair trade coffee sometimes a little bit more expensive but you know that the coffee producers working in the jungles in Colombia or wherever are getting paid a reasonable amount of money for their work which a lot of the other companies don't so this gives you some ideas of how to make coffee if you want to take a generator and espresso machine that's up to you we use the AeroPress more than anything uh, we sometimes use the Bowdoin pot. You do get a plastic version, but the filter is quite coarse and it gets grainy. The Bialetti pot is really nice, but it's aluminium and we try not cook with aluminium. So that's really the way it is. Uh, the, as far as the sound is concerned, uh, it's a little bit of an issue. Uh, quite a lot of wind and I did not use the lapel mic. I only thought about it afterwards. So apologies for all the, the noise and the wind and everything else. Have a good one and if you put salt in your coffee, let me know. Cheers. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here